It is Saturday, June 2nd, and this is what's left of the vines in the uh, little A-frame greenhouse, sawhorse greenhouse. The rest are back here, ready to go. These are getting planted. Got company, and we have a storm coming in. Had the red sky in the morning a little while ago. It's about 5.30 a.m. and I can't, I can't even find my water uh, tank, so I'm using whatever I got. But I have to get that in before, I gotta get 30 some odd plants in before noon when a thunderstorm hits. Good luck. All I have is my little handheld camera here. But it's, it's very windy, so I do have a separate recorder. So hopefully that'll come out okay. I have no level ground down here, so I'm trying to get stuff staged and ready. I got roughly half the plants, half the vines. And I gotta get at it. Just a little bit of water for each of them. Um, push them into the hole, add a little bit of my freshly mixed fertilizer, and tie them to the pin because we might have high winds with this thunderstorm. But it's 72 degrees out, and I actually have a light jacket on. Yesterday, I thought I was going to get heat stroke fucking weather. Okay, here's my kit. I got my Prothic ties, a little extra tie, a knife to cut my bags, and a scissors for the ties, and my fertilizer. So, add a little fertilizer to the hole, add it around the hole, figure out the depth which needs a little bit more in here. About to there. Add a little water. Then, slit the bag right up the middle and I can peel it Peel it back. Then I just take the root ball, drop it in my hand, and drop it in the hole. I don't have two hands, so I'll show you when it's done. There's my root ball. I have really nice roots on these things. And drop her in the hole. The rooting medium that I have is pretty damn loose and wanting to disintegrate so I got to be extra careful not to damage the roots too bad. Getting it nice and firm in there. Putting a little bit of a trench downhill. Then, gently get it over to the, to the stake. It's not really important how this looks. This will turn and go straight, it'll turn and go straight up and it'll be beautiful in a very short time. Once he's going to the ground, they should take off pretty quick. If they don't die. All right, I'm gonna hustle. I have about 30, I think, 30, 30, maybe 32 vines to get in the ground and the skies are, are threatening. Wind is picking up. 
This could be a disaster. I'll film that if it happens. Pinch of fertilizer. And adjust the depth of the hole. A little sprinkle of water to make the roots want to go downwards. Slip the bag, and I'm going to want to get it in the hole facing the, the pole. That is nice. Tight up against one side. your best day for planting but I can hear the farmers out with their machines rushing to get stuff done before the rain to get a field of corn in or whatever they got to do I hope this camera is pointing the right direction Try to keep it from snapping in the wind. These first couple holes I had a problem with the auger binding up on all this grass. So they're not as deep as I would have liked. The next ones are probably too deep. Okay, that should do it. These vines are beautiful, at least most of them. Came out real well. Alrighty then, more vines.
I'm a hair more than halfway done. It's much less windy down here. It's still windy, but it's much less than up by the house, up on top of the hill. You can see some of the trees are moving pretty good. It's going to storm pretty good. So I really got to get my ass in gear. Finish it up. I got a dozen more vines to put in in this row. And then I think six or seven in the rest of the vineyard. And I'm done. Well, that about wraps it up. 32 vines. And it is now pushing 10 o'clock. I started out Oh, right around five. I think it was probably about three and a half hours of planting. So row F is done. And well, this is probably the smallest of the other ones. There's seven other ones besides row F. And this one and a few others the ones that were really small had some powdery mildew on the lower leaves, which is to be expected being in a, in a greenhouse that long. Really humid in there to keep them alive, and that also is ripe conditions for fungus. But it'll be easy to get rid of. I'll spray, the, spray them down with... Uh, a systemic fungicide and they'll be good to go. Yeah, the vines look great and now that they're out in the in the wind and uh, rain and all that other good stuff, they're gonna do just fine. You can see I believe that's powdery mildew on there as well. Let me see. Yeah, I was thinking it was uh, deposits from the water earlier, but the way the leaves are dehydrating, that means it's a, it's a fungus. So, yeah, I got a little bit all over. I will get in here tomorrow after the rain and cut off all the fungus and spray and I got a little bit of a last pruning to do on the rest of the vineyard and I need to hand prune around each vine so that I can get in here and spray. You can see I sprayed here but you can't get close too close to the vine because if you spray a sucker, a sucker could be hiding in this it can affect or even kill the whole vine. So there's a good deal of work to do here this week. But then it starts to get to a, a fairly dormant period. Yeah, my daughter just cut the north pasture. Looks pretty nice. And I got to get around with the whacker and have at the weeds. Once the summer sets in, things grow a little bit slower than in the spring. A little easier to keep up. Okay, that's it for today. Remember to hit the subscribe button as well as the little bell for updates so that you get updates when we post new videos on the uh, Goings on here in the vineyard, the pastures, the clearing of the woods right there. And then we got our savannah project going on up behind the house where we're clearing, clearing the woods around the giant oaks back there to try to restore the savannah, the oak savannah. So, subscribe and stop back soon. That's it for today.